What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today with the review for Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition Season 8. I believe this is episode, I believe this is season 8. No, no, 18. 18. I think that's it. Season 18, episode 2. Episode 2, um, rap battle. All right, you guys. So I was going to do hot topics this week, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. YouTube really pissed me off yesterday. I was up trying to upload all three of my shows. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Reunion. Um, American Horror Story and Sisters. It took... It wouldn't even move. Actually, at a certain point, it stopped even uploading. It said it was processing it, but it wasn't processing anything because when I was uploading it, it was only at 24% uploaded. So... They're up now, so marriage boot camp is all we're gonna do today, and then we'll come back. We'll be back later with the two-hour premiere of um, "Ready to Love" that premieres tonight, as well as "Life at the Lockup." So, with that out of the way, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other review on the channel and are not yet subscribed to the channel, then I need you guys to do me a big solid favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Notification bell button on. Share the video. And with that out the way, let's, without further ado, let's discuss this episode of Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. It was a rather interesting episode, I will say that. So let's discuss it. All right, you guys. So we see the boot campers, right? They're all waking up in their bedrooms, right? When it comes down to treasure, right? Treasure has Treasure has some deep rooted issues that she needs to sort through. I don't necessarily like I said, who was I talking who was it last season that I felt didn't need boot camp and that I felt like they had deeper issues. I can't remember. It's I know it's been one season where I felt like somebody had deeper issues than what marriage boot camp could offer to them and I can't even remember who it was. I think it was Misha I think it was Misha Lay. Um but Treasure has some deep-rooted issues, and I just don't know if this show is good for her, right? Wait, it was somebody, because they had to take alcohol away. They had to take... Oh! It, I remember who it was. I remember. It was, um... Damn, I can't even think of it. I can't even think. It was Tony and, um... God, I can't even think of his name right now. But yeah, Treasure has the same issues. Treasure has an alcohol issue, right? Because Treasure woke up and I was looking at her. I'm like, she's still slurring. I'm like, so are you... I'm like, is she still drunk? Or is she... Well, she can't be hung over. I'm like... She, but she was still slurring her words. I'm like, damn, that is terrible. So, then she goes to the kitchen where everyone else is. And she fix herself a drink. I'm like, damn, that is terrible. Like, you're in the, in the ear. But you know what? I, I'm not even going to put my family's business out there. But I know someone who's like... Well, actually, no. She's gotten better. No, she hasn't. Yes, she has. Yes, she has gotten a little bit better. But Treasure just needs some help. And I just don't know if this show is going to be that be that for her, right? So then we see Miles. So Miles is talking to Amber, right? And he's asking Amber, "Do will they be able to get along? And he asks, she says, hopefully, right? Then he asks her, is she afraid? Is she scared of what people will think about them? She says no, that she's not scared of what people will think about them. She's scared of what he will do to make her look bad in front of people. And how he will make her look in front of people, right? And I just don't believe, with this relationship with Amber and Miles, I don't, again, like I said, I don't believe it. I think that they're just two good friends. And they said, hey, let's go on this show. It's $100,000, right? Let's. I mean, $100,000 for 10 days. And when you split 100, like y'all both walk away with $50,000 for 10 days. I mean, you can't, you really can't beat that, right? But I just don't know. I don't, I don't, I feel like I said with Amber and Miles, I just get a homey vibe. I don't feel that the relationship is 100% a romantic or even a sexual, it could be a sexual relationship. But I don't believe it's a romantic one. I don't get that vibe from Amber and Miles. 
So, I've already talked about Treasure having deeper issues. So, um, we then see, as Dr. We hear Dr. Ish on the, on the intercom, he calls the boot campers to the front driveway, right? So, today's exercise, there's two exercises actually in this episode, right? So, the first one is, is dealing with resentment. Resentment that you each of each of the people in the relate each partner has in the relationship, right? You could have a resentment issue for cheating, money. You know, people. You know, we all have different. You know, people in relationships. There are times that you resent your partner for X amount of you know whatever, right? But it is just it's it's really for resentment. It's really how you express that resentment, right? That's the key. Don't hold on to it. Don't let it fester. Don't let it. Don't let it build its own. Like basically, build a little persona. Don't let that be a part of who you are. If you feel some resentment towards your partner, you have to be able to effectively communicate with your partner and tell your partner what you like. Hey, baby, I didn't like how you folded the clothes last night. Or hey, baby, I didn't like the fact that you left the toilet seat up. Or Hey, babe, like when we went out last night, like, you know, you went ahead and ordered for me. You didn't know. You didn't know that I wanted that. Like whatever you resent your partner for, don't let it grow. Don't feed it. Don't feed it. Let it out. You just put it out there in the open and then you guys can move forward. And that's the issue with a lot of these couples that they've harbored this resentment and it's just growing and growing and growing and growing. It's like a tree. You're watering it. You you just water it every day, and it's just continuously growing. So that's what they're doing today. So I'm gonna pause here, and then we're gonna move forward. All right, you guys. So the exercise for them today is to. So they have these little crates, right? And each crate has a different has balls in it that represents a different thing. You have some clear ones where you can just write whatever your resentment is. You can have sex, money infidelity um you know trust issues whatever you whatever the whatever the resentment is you pick it up you put it in there so each each couple goes up one at a time they'll take their balls out i resent you for this i resent you for that now amber and miles both said that they that each other because i caught this both of them said that each other slept with their best friends i'm like really huh and then she says she resented him for she know her with niggas. Um, it was interesting with those. Like I said, with Amber and Miles. I mean, yeah, Amber and Miles. I don't know. I just really don't. I don't know. I don't know what to think when it comes to those two. Because I have a big issue with Amber. I have, a, I have, I have an issue with Amber, right? Amber says that she's not homophobic. That... You know, she likes, she doesn't care if you're gay, straight, bi, trans, pan, whatever. So, if that's the case, why do you feel so differently about Miles, right? Like, I'm going to say this about Amber, and I'm also going to use this when I talk about Moni and Tough, right? When Miles came out to you, right, told you he was bisexual, you made a conscious decision to say, hey, I'm going to look past that. And I'm still going to be in a relationship with you, right? So if you if you said that you're going to look, pa- if you're going to be able to either not, well, not even say, not, not, let's not even say look past it, right? I'm going to accept that you told me that you were bisexual, right? And I'm going to choose to still be in a relationship with you, right? So from that point on, don't ever you when you accept something, don't continue to bring it up, especially when you get mad or something. Don't continue to bring that shit up. You accepted it. Why are you now saying, "Oh, I don't accept that"? Right? It's 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 it's, it's ass backwards to be quite honest with you, right? So now I do get it, right? When someone cheats on you, yes, that is diff- That's different, right? You say he cheated on you with the man. We all know who the man is, Milan. So we all know that, right? But after love and hip hop, Hollywood going on what you guys are saying you forgave him so why do you continuously bring that up if he's been if he's been with you now and he's monogamous with you what are you worried about him being bisexual for right the man is always going to be bisexual 
just like and it's, it's it's nothing like i don't know why people get this in their head right when you're in a relationship right there's nothing wrong when you go out you, i mean we're gonna look right we see a good looking if if, if you would if you're in a relationship right and you see a good looking person walk by you're like oh that's a good looking person that doesn't mean that you're gonna act on trying to get with that person and that's the thing but when amber like I said, I just don't believe that this is a real relationship. You guys can let me know what you think, but I just don't believe that theirs is real. I, I just don't believe that theirs is real. So, Moni and Tuff went, right? And the same thing that I said for um, um, Amber is the same thing for Moni, right? Yes, it is ter- it's terrible that Tuff felt the need to go out and cheat on you when you were pregnant with the child, right? But you consciously made the decision to stay in this relationship with him and don't say you did it for the kid because if you did it for the kid the kid can then see that my mom and my dad they are bickering and arguing about something that happened when i was before i was even here right the kids can feed off of that right so my thing with moni is if moni chose to forgive tough she should have let she should have said you know what I forgive you. I don't need to look at anything. We're going we're gonna to discuss her a little bit more. But if you forgave him, let it be that. Um, Now I have an issue with Tuff. Because Tuff has an issue with Moni. Because he feels that after he cheated, Moni no longer tried to help him with, with his rap career. And then I had like so many questions. So many red, so many questions came into my head, right? So did you get with Moni because of who she was? Because she's Moni Love? Like, because if if that's the case, it looks like you're... Because what you were saying, it looks like you're a clout chaser, right? Moni's not an A&R. She's not a manager. So she couldn't... I mean, it was nice of her to want to help you with your rap career, but that wasn't her job. And, and it, you know, that wasn't her job. And if you weren't paying her, then she didn't. she wasn't obligated to do that. So... I have a big issue with that 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 alone that statement that she no longer helped you with your career like it's up to you find the right people that can help you you know get your rap career off the ground and go from there but don't put it on your woman because like i said it just looks like you're a clout chaser basically so let's move on all right you guys so after they throw the balls at each other dr ish tells each couple to put on this basically this clear jumpsuit right what they're gonna do is they're gonna walk around for the rest of the day with those resentment balls in them so that way they can kind of get a grasp of how their partner feels walking around with all that resentment hmm okay so after the drill Moni and Tuff got into it right so here's where I was saying I was gonna get deeper into Moni right so Tuff cheated on Moni he said he was about 25 years old right he said he hasn't cheated since 2012. He, he says he hasn't, cheated, he hasn't cheated in years, and that's been since 2012. 2012, I mean, it has been, it's, it's been almost 10 years at this point, but that's really not a long time when you think about it, right? That was, it's just like it was yesterday, right? So they were arguing back and forth, right? And I think that there's a little bit of fault, not, well, not fault, right? I think you can, I think that there's, you can, you can see some issues on both sides, right? Because here's the thing, right? Like I was saying a minute ago, Moni, you chose to stay in this relationship with him. You chose to forgive him. So why are you still making him pay for sins of the past, right? Like, because he's talking about she still goes through his DMs. Now, see, that's the problem right there. You chose to forgive him, right? When you chose to forgive him, you should have let all that go. Now, granted, she did say she found something in his DMs, right? That's fucked up, right? That that she chose you asked her to forgive you she forgave you but you were still cheating that's fucked up as that's really fucked up right but like the age old saying goes if you go looking for something money you're gonna find it and unfortunately you found a woman in his dms right if you couldn't if if at the point where you got back with him you knew in your heart of hearts that you couldn't truly forgive that man you should have been like you know what um tough right now you know i do love you i do want to be a family with you but right now we got to put in the work to to you know to make things we got to put in the work right because right now there is no trust there 
and I just don't want to delve back into this relationship with you when there's a lack of trust. That's the re- that's really what she should have done. She should not have just jumped back into the relationship, especially like I said, with there being a big lack of trust. You shouldn't have hopped back in that relationship. You should have took some time to yourself, right, and said, you know what? Let me work on me, and you work on you, and then you know we can still you know like date each other, right? But if you really didn't trust him, you should not have gotten back with him at that particular point, right? So then the ju- doctor is calls them out there to do the rap battles, right? So they do their rap battles. Um, the issue now, Moni and Tough, right? Tough in his rap was blaming his in- his his infidelities, his past discre- infidelities on being his upbringing, right? No, if you see, here's the thing, right? We can all be right. We all are, you know. I know they all say. I know they always say you're a product of your environment, right? Which is kind of true. But if you grow up in a if you grow up in a household where everyone is on drugs, and you grow up and you realize, hey, that's not right, then you don't have to go on. You don't have to go down that same path that your parents went down, right? So he's saying that his family he saw infidelity. Just because you saw infidelity doesn't mean that you had to then go and do it just because that's what you saw you know growing up right like and that's you know so it is you know so just because of what you see in your environment doesn't mean that you have to go out there and repeat that same cycle good bad or indifferent you don't have to repeat what other people have done in your up in your upbringing right um treasure treasure needs help again i'm gonna keep saying that she needs some help right because in her in her rap she was crying, and I'm just like, girl, what the hell? But I'm like, she's still got to be drunk, right? And I'm like, I'm surprised she hadn't thrown up, but she did throw up later. She threw up at the end of the episode, right? Um, What else are we going to talk about? Molly Maul. Molly doesn't seem any bit invested in Treasure. That's all I got to say. Molly Maul doesn't seem like he's invested at all in Treasure. Not a bit. Um, Let's think. I mean, I'm not going to go in deep into the rap battles. I know Judge Toller told um, Norie that he needs to basically just listen to Neri. He talk, he, you know, he, he interrupts before a person can, a conversation can, you know, he interrupts in the conversation, right? And Judge Toller did tell Treasure that she wants to talk to her, right? But she wants to talk to Sober when she's sober and coherent because at this point she's not. So, I know somebody mentioned in my comments last week about this, right? About Molly Maul. So, Molly Maul had a conversation with Dr. Ish, right? And we somebody we were having a conversation about when was this show filmed, like, about his legal issues. Well, I guess they knew about the legal issues because he, he, he didn't want to talk about it, but it was there. So, that's Marriage Boot Camp, you guys. Let me know what you guys over, thought about the episode overall. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else. Share the video. Until the next one, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear a mask, socially distance, be blessed. And I'm going to catch you guys later. I'll see you guys later on for um, Life After Lockup and for Ready to Love. All right, you guys. Bye.